Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today we're going to take another quick look at my Arduino Autonomous Robot. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Really glad you could join me today. Today I thought we'd take another quick look at my autonomous robot driven by Arduino. This was the scene smart kit I picked up when I very first started into the Arduino hobby and I'm super excited with the results and uh, how far it's taken me. It's been a bit of a, a core element in my learning process so I thought we'd just take a quick look through it and let's add some Bluetooth to this today. So this is the Arduino robot. What I've got is I've got uh, a proximity sensor on the front, an ultrasonic distance measuring, mounted to a servo. Uh, it's mounted very poorly with just hot glue in this case. I never thought this project would go this far. So uh, that measures our looks left, looks right. It's interfaced with an Arduino Mega with a sensor shield on board. This all comes part of the SaneSmart kit, uh, with the exception of the servo and these printed brackets, which I'll, I'll, uh, I'll link them on my forum and my website where you can download these particular ones. And if you haven't seen it before, here's the previous code video I made on this. I'm not sure that I ever showed the internals of this at all. There's not much to see, but this is how the internals of this robot works. We've got four DC motors and a dual H bridge driver. I power mine with a lithium polymer pack. Forget the AA batteries. They just quite simply suck. Switch over to a LiPo battery. You'll be a lot happier. And this one I haven't even Velcroed down uh, as of yet. So let's reassemble this and uh, we'll give it a look. So what we want to do, we want to add Bluetooth to this today and uh, improve the feedback and also allow us to control this robot. What I'll do is we're going to add the HC06 Bluetooth module. If you haven't uh, used one of these before, they're a very, very price reasonable Bluetooth module can't operate in master mode but we don't need that today. I made a video tutorial, I'll post it right here, where you can find out uh, how to interface this to your project. We're going to go ahead, let's hook this up. So we're going to take the green wire here and we're going to hook it to the voltage supply. We're going to hook the blue to ground and then we're going to go over to the far side and we're going to hook up the RX and the TX lines. So this gray, this gray wire is going to be closest to the positive here on the serial data pins. These on this sensor shield are labeled Bluetooth, you can see there. And we're going to go purple the next one further away. That should allow us to have Bluetooth control of this thing and allow us to connect. So we'll just, we're just gonna set this in here for now and I'll prop this up and we'll see if it works. So what I've done, I went ahead and powered it up and I've already connected with the Cena Blue term. I toggled it out of roam mode and you'll see this in the code. It should make life a little easier for you. Uh, just with the R key. And if we go ahead and toggle it back in, the robot should come to life and go back into roam mode. Wanders around, looks for obstacles. If I put my hand in front of it, it's going to try and find new directions and keep on trying to find new directions. If we toggle roam off again with the R key, which seems to be a little persnickety to get it to go here doesn't seem to pay attention because I'm printing a lot to serial and I shouldn't be. So with roam mode off, we go back to a rest position and we can control the direction. 
So turning left, we should be able to turn right. We should be able to back up. And we should be able to carry on forward at a slow speed. Perfect. If nothing else, we now have full feedback back to the phone or any Bluetooth enabled device to tell us what's going on once we're in roam mode. Pretty excited about this. Uh, I'll share the code, we'll make it available. Hopefully it helps someone and let's go out and uh, maybe try it out on the floor and see what it looks like. So here's the robot out on the floor. We should be able to toggle with the R key and hopefully it'll pay attention to us. Uh, there's far too much serial traffic, I need to mod the code. And if we hit R, it goes into roam mode and hopefully it'll come back out at some point here. Turn it around so it stays on camera, would be nice of it. We'll let it carry on and roam here. Let's see if we can get it to come out. So we've got the robot here out of roam mode and it should respond to the key presses, hopefully. We can now control left, right. Can we back up? Oh yeah, we can back up at high rates of speed. Let's try forward again. Try a left turn, right turn. Okay, so I need a little bit of work on controlling it. But, you get the idea. It's totally doable. Pretty impressed with this. And if we take it back out of it and give it back to control and go back into autonomous mode, we just hit R and put it back in roam mode. And away it goes. So we can add some new code to this, whereby we're gonna use the distance sensor while we're in manual control. Hopefully add some tilt and uh, use the accelerometers in the phone. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. So we'll add a little bit to the code and we'll see what we can do for incorporating that distance sensor and a few other small mods and see if we can get the serial com a little bit better. But uh, as it goes right now, in roam mode it will do its thing and you'll be all set well guys that's the extent of where we're at with the diy autonomous robot uh, with the sane smart chassis kit hope this helps someone good luck guys in all your electronics ventures uh, remember to hit thumbs up if you uh, if this video helped you and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already look forward to seeing you again guys